Hello, my name is Nicholas Merritt, and I am a student in Indiana State University's Doctor of Athletic Training program. Uh, this summer, I am the head athletic trainer with the Carolina Crown Drum and Bugle Corps, providing medical services for the members in uh, the horn line and the color guard and the drum line. Um, and I'm spending the tour with them throughout the summer. Normally, uh, I have an assistantship, a graduate assistantship with Indiana State University with the track and field and cross country teams. And um, I spend about 10 months out of the year with them uh, traveling and working with the teams, providing medical services at the university. Today I'm going to be talking about the uh, SAPO postural assessment tool. And this is a software that allows the measurements of uh, distances and angles of the human body. Um, it's pretty cool. You can take pictures. Uh, from the anterior, posterior, and lateral views, and then um, while that person's standing in anatomical position, you can see 32 anatomic points, including 14 bilateral points, and uh, there's a plumb line that's used for vertical calibration with the tool. Um, in terms of the tool itself, uh, here you can see the individual that has the photo taken of them, and then that photo is then transmitted into the software on the computer, which now becomes uh, this image. And the image is then analyzed to determine if there are any biomechanical deficiencies or any rotations that are a little bit abnormal. So here you can see that the ASIS on this side is a little bit more superior to the other. Um, the shoulders are a little bit rounded out. Inferior angle of the scapula are at different angles as well. Um, and you can also see the distances from which these points are away from each other as well. So if you take into account those options. Now, is this actually a good tool or not? Um, the reliability of the tool is very good. Uh, the intra-rater and intra-rater reliability were as high as 68.4% and the ICC value um, was at 0.89 to 0.90. Um, so the Raiders were only given a 30 minute practice time and they got all the time they needed to, to practice during the study. Uh, a pretty good accuracy in terms of validity with uh, measuring the angles and the distances. Um, there were only a small margin of error of 0.11 degrees and 1.8 millimeters error in distance in terms of how um, accurate the tool is and being used to measure the distances from these different points. Um, and it is pretty feasible in order to be used. Uh, there's a link in the public domain that allows the individual to access the software and you can download it. Um, it's really easy. And then uh, the only setback is currently the, the tool is down. Um, you have to email the individual to, to get the software, but um, if uh, you get the software, then you can access it. And um, it's a newer tool and it's pretty reliable in terms of measuring posture. So integrating it into any population that you want is pretty easy as long as you have a computer and a camera in order to take pictures of the individual you're wanting to look at and then analyze them on the computer.